Hello everybody, what's up? It is your girl Katie and welcome back to another unboxing video. Now I'm not holding up the box just yet because this one is pretty special. It is Owl Crate, but it is their fifth, I'm sorry, I'm checking it right now to see. Yes, Owlcrate is turning five this year. So this box is their fifth anniversary edition and it is blue. Look at that. It's not like the normal box we get. It has um, the owl's face on it and it is blue. So let me get into opening that real quick. <laughs> Guys, something I just noticed is that the tape is even blue. That's, I didn't even notice that, okay. So opening it up, Ooh, it looks like we're pretty stuffed this month. Now the theme for this month was music of the night. Um, and obviously that makes me think of Phantom of the Opera. And we did get a Phantom of the Opera thing um, item this month. So this is what the theme card looks like. Beautiful as always. All right. To celebrate Owl Crate's five-year anniversary, we've sent along some comfy Owl Crate socks. Oh, let me... Oh, there's like way more worms than usual. <laughs> okay. Stop. And my cat is loving every minute of it. Whoa, sorry I'm pale. The sunlight's out. Um... Scoot you. There. So they have gotten us some Owl Crate socks. It says Owl Crate loves you. <laughs> and then of course the socks themselves have the infamous owl on them. And then on the bottoms they have Owl Crate. So love that always use more socks. Socks are amazing. I love them. Um, whether you've been with us since the beginning or you've recently discovered us, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting us. And I've been with them for almost a year now, so that's awesome. Okay, and I think this is our next one right here. <laughs> With a theme like Music of the Night, we just had to include an item for the fans of The Phantom of the Opera. Have you checked out the new bookish playlist we've been including in each month's magazine? Owl Crate team member Tess at Paperback Bones curates them. That's nice. Okay. I am really sorry about this lighting, guys. So, it comes in a tube. There it is. Phantom of the Opera. That is so cool. I love this print. Ah, awesome. Okay. Can't wait to hang that up on my wall. Love that. All right, the next thing in here says we've included oh an owl crate wireless speaker this is the box it comes in there we go owl crate wire, wire, wireless speaker for all your listening needs from audiobooks to podcasts and music oh there's comes with a wristlet and then the charger Um, have you checked out our new bookish play? Oh, that's where that was from. Okay, sorry. The poster print was illustrated by Anne and Anne Lambelay. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, and then what I read about the uh, Owl Crate member Tess making the music playlist was actually for this speaker. My bad. 
That is so cute. Look at that. So you would put the wristlet up here. Bluetooth note. Whoa. All right. That is so cool. I love that. It's so cute with the little owl face on it. I think his name's... I want to say... I don't know. Starts with an O. I want to say Oswald, but I don't think that's it. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Hashtag fake fan. It's only been a year, guys. They've been going for five years, but I've only been with them for a year. So don't, don't blame me for not knowing the name of the owl. I know it has a name, though. Okay, anyway. All right, the next thing we have in here. Um... I think is this one. Oh, this is so neat. I did not know that's what this was. Okay, so this is a wooden art print. It says, Sing you a song and steal your soul. Victoria Schwab. That is so cute. It's wooden. All right. Emily Rudd was inspired by the Monster of Verity duology, Monsters of Verity duology. And our favorite violin, violin playing Sunai when she created this wooden art print. So that's neat. All right. Um, Monsters of Verity, I think that's our dark duet and uh, our the Savage Song, right? Um, I've started reading this Savage Song. I've not finished it. It was a little bit ago when I started reading it. But that is so cool that we got a wooden art print. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, the next thing in here. <laughs> I think... It says, oh, I don't want to rip anything. Ah. Sorry, I didn't want to rip it. Okay, um, make your book and make your books and pages a touch more magical with this set of Ex Libris book plates designed by at. Varis, Varisk, Natasha, Natasha, underscore art. We couldn't resist including a goodie inspired by the iconic Harry Potter soundtrack. Love to loan your books out? Write your name on the empty spine in Hedwig's book stack. Hedwig's book stack to help your friends remember who to return them to. Oh my gosh, that is such a neat idea. There's so many of them, guys. <laughs> so they're book plates that help you loan your books out. If you ever want, if you ever uh, let a friend borrow them, that's so cool. I saw that in the spoiler, because obviously I looked at spoilers like always, and I was like, I don't understand what this is supposed to be. But now that I know that they're book plates that you can sign your name to, that is so, that's such an awesome idea. Very usable. Like, there's so many of them for all the books you have, you know? I know I have a lot. All right, the next thing in here is a candle inspired by Winter Song by... Flick the wick's candle, smells divine, and leaves us dreaming of music-filled goblin grove at twilight. I have not read, so that's what, I have not read Winter Song. Mmm, it smells good though. It's like a light blue in there. It's winter berries, peach, 
yuzu, pear, and fresh air. Mm. I love fruity scents, so I love that. I'm going to be lighting that up soon, I can tell you that. All right, the next thing I see in here is... It says, whether, you, whether you'd prefer to snag sparkly uh, piano playing vampire or your team or or you are hashtag team hunky werewolf. This Bella's Lullaby Lip Scrub created by Fairy Tale Bath Company will leave your lips soft and totally kissable. So that is so cute. It says Bella's. Bella's Lullaby on it, and it says that the flavor is mint chocolate chip. It definitely smells chocolate chippy with a little bit of mint. I can, yeah, that's so cool. I love lip scrubs. I love doing them. I don't get around to doing them often, but I do love doing them. All right, and last but certainly not least is the pin for this month's book and of course this month's book sorry so the kingdom of the back I or sorry kingdom of the back kingdom of back sorry I'm a mess today guys okay so there's that. It looks just like the cover. It's the tree from the cover of the book, and it has little music notes in it. That is so cute. All right, this says two siblings, two brilliant talents, but only one Mozart. We think you'll love Kingdom of Back. A new historical YA fantasy from Mary... Marie Lou about a musical prodigy. Oh, my lanta. Where's the bat? Thank you. Sorry, my battery's running low. All right, gotcha. It is about a musical prodigy. Prodigy and the dangerous lengths she'll go to to make history remember her. Our exclusive edition is signed by the author, features a unique cover, as well as silver foil gilded edges. Marie Lou also included an author's letter for our readers. So this is what the book looks like. Um, I'm going to have to look, and then this is the author's letter. I love that they include an author letter. I am the sister of the other Mozart. The, I am a sister of the other Mozart, and her story is mine. Okay. Oop. This did say... Right? Signed by the author. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. There it is, signed by the author. The edges are silver. Look at that. And then here is what it looks like naked. That is so cute. Um, the cover itself, the dust, dust jacket, when it has a little map in there of what... They look like too. That's so cute. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to look to see like the main differences in the cover because as far as I know, this looks pretty much like the other one. Except for it's matte. And I don't, th I don't think the other one's matte. Let me look. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, it's, um, blue. While the other one had blue, like, accents, and it was mainly black, um, the Owl Grade Edition is all blue. Different shades of blue, but all blue, nonetheless. 
Yeah, that's neat. It's important to keep a lot of blue on the cover. We changed the background to a deep blue and we feel that it made the cover even more magical. Nice. Okay. So yeah, super excited to read this. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And yeah, I think it'll be really fun to read. I'm super excited with everything we got in this month's box. Oh my gosh. Um, next month's theme is Full Moon Magic. And every April box will include an exclusive jigsaw puzzle illustrated by at Alien Art. Um, the picture on the back is Hal's Moving Castle, and I would love, it's probably not what we're going to get, but I would love a book or a jigsaw puzzle of Hal because that's one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm so happy to film these videos for you. Um, I hope you're all staying inside and trying not to think about the world because it's being real crazy right now. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and getting to do what you want to do. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.